See, I'm not, I'm, I'm not like David, you know, I don't control, oh, no, I just don't throw my, my, my name even, in, you know. I didn't even, I need to show you <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> not even, even David, me. Even like me. You <laughs> <laughs> can't spell it, that's why. Hey, yeah. <laughs> As in say hello, what you're all about. <laughs> <laughs> Seaman Says, with David Seaman, brought to you by Betway. Hello and welcome to Seaman Says, brought to you by Betway, with me, David Seaman, Faker Others, and this week's special guest, the most capped Irish player in history, in football history. <laughs> Please welcome Robbie Keane. Wow, that is some record, mate. It's not too bad. How are you, guys? All right, thanks. Yeah. Lovely to have you. Thanks for having me. Good. The weekend, mate. Um... How did you feel about straight, uh, straight, straight in? in. Oh, no messing. Wow. Please give me a minute. No, no, no friendliness here at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was, uh, it was just written, wasn't it? Yeah. Grealish and <laughs> Declan to score as well. <laughs> Two Irishmen scored. Uh, which, uh, <laughs> so technically, we probably won 2-0, did we? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, listen, obviously, it was always going to be a tough game, tough task for, uh, for Ireland. Yeah. With the players that that England have, you know, um, so yeah, yeah. To be fair to England, I thought they they played very well. Certainly in the first. They played. Half. They played first half good. Second half was. I, I still felt it was okay. You know, yeah, like yeah. I was I was listening to it on the radio on the way back, and they were getting like a lot of criticism. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah, the England team, you know, on the radio and saying that oh, it's gone back to to Garrisway, and I'm like, hang on a minute, Garrisway is not that bad, by the way. Mm-hmm. You know, it was still a good a good standard, but. Uh, and then, and then I watched the highlights when I got in, and I was like, "This was a good game." You know, well, the, hi- the highlights would have been good. The sec- I think the difference was the first half was so dynamic, so exciting. Mm. Apart from the opening like five or six minutes where you just came straight out the traps. Yeah, and- I think I think that was the message. I think I think from the manager, but you can you can sustain that for, for yeah. ninety yeah. minutes, especially when you play against uh, a, a team that can open you up at, at any stage with with the quality players that they they have. So it was it was always going to be. Difficult, of course. Playing against England, your, your, your rivals, you know, the players are going to be right up for it f- for the first from the start. So I think that was the the intention. I've, um, I've seen my, how I've seen how wound up you get in soccer, eight. So <laughs> I dread to think how wound up you used to get playing against England. Oh, yeah. Well, I was looking. I played against England twice, and we we didn't lose. Oh, yeah, I can yeah. imagine. I think we drew drew both games actually. Yeah, it was a goalless. Mm. One of them was a goalless yeah. draw, wasn't it? And yeah. one one. Yeah, in, in Wembley. Yeah. Shane Lowe, nice. I think Frank Lampard. That atmosphere, though, I mean, I, I don't think I've ever... I've, I've experienced some hostile atmospheres when I've been on England duty, but that was something else. I mean, we were surrounded, in the, the press box anyway, we were surrounded by Ireland fans, and everybody was lovely. But the minute the players came out, particularly Declan Which players? And, and Jack <laughs> booed, I, the reception for Lee Carsley was actually... Okay, because obviously forty caps for yeah. Ireland in, in, himself. Yeah, a few boos in there, yeah. but but quite respectful, I thought. But it was when the national anthem was played. It was it was yeah, goosebumps, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It yeah, was it was yeah. crazy. You couldn't hear any of it. You couldn't yeah. hear it at all. Um, it was it was an amazing atmosphere, and then the whole of the Aviva Stadium were on top um, when you came out of the block so quick I think Jason yeah. Malumbi went in on, on Jack Grealish really early on <laughs> clearly been told which to do you, that which you're going to and Jack will be expecting that yeah, by the way it was yeah. great to see Jack back as well you know after after his disappointment of the mm. summer you know being left out in the squad um, you know to come back and score his goal and what made me smile is that you know the way that Declan celebrated when he scored he just like no celebration. He told me that was in respect of his grandparents. Oh, said, okay. Yeah. All oh, right. So yeah. that, that's what he said. Yeah. That they're, they're both not here anymore. Yeah. And he said, you know, I just didn't want to. I take it Jack's not. So Jack did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got any grandparents. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jack celebrated very differently, but yeah. the, the assist from Declan as well. I mean, that that was a lovely team goal. That second goal. Yeah. But the first one from from Declan, he smashed that. It was it just, uh, just felt lovely, didn't it, for him? And he just yeah, it was. A Is this conversation thing. going on any longer? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, we lost, we lost. Good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are happy, no problem. <laughs> what, what, what was positive from an Irish point of view, Robbie? No, in terms of uh, positive, I mean, it, it was always going to be a tough, tough task, you know. So, I think to get your first game against England, it's, it's not easy. Um, I think the positive of the second half, they had a bit, bit more of a, of a go. My only worry would be is that didn't really create too many, too many chances. But I think that will come in time with the new manager, and he has to put his own stamp on the 
uh, on the group. Mm. Obviously, in the next game now is, is is Greece, so you would like to think that you would have a chance of, certainly against them. So, um, but it's good to see you know Evan Ferguson back playing. Mm. Uh, I know he's had a bad injury. He's certainly one for the future. Troy Parrott now is doing really well. Um, Kelleher makes yeah, some good stuff. Yeah, Kelleher was great. I thought. Yeah, he was yeah very good. I'm surprised he's 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 not gone. Yeah, uh, because mm. I think I think he, he, he could, could be, be a top. number one. Yeah, mm. easy. Yeah, yeah, he's a. Uh, we're very lucky actually when, when, in Ireland because we have three three really good goalkeepers mm. yeah, now, yeah. and uh, he's got his opportunities now. But he, I certainly think he needs to go out and and. Uh, Play on a regular basis, you know. I yeah. think he's 25, 25 now, so I think it's a perfect age for him. I think it, when Liverpool are, are competing in so many competitions, he can, he does get an opportunity, doesn't he? Yeah, but he, he had, he got that little window last year, didn't yeah. he? And he played, I think, maybe ten games or so. Yeah. So you know, that'll certainly get you, get you going. But no player, you know yourself, you don't want to be on the on the bench when you're that mm-hmm. that good as a mm-hmm. goalkeeper. Maybe he's waiting for as Allison. Told him that he might leave next season for yeah. him to step step mm. in because I'm surprised he's 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 not gone. Mm. You do you get sometimes you'll get goalkeepers that <coughs> that are like happy at being a number two. Yeah, but I don't I don't get that impression with him. No, you know because he's he's that good. You know, and it, it was a bit like with with Aaron Aaron Ramsdale at Arsenal. You know, he, he was too good to be a number mm. two. You know, with Keller, every time you see him come in. Mm. He always impresses. Mm. You know, he doesn't look like a weakness at all. No, no there has to be something because he's he, he's too good to stay there. Yeah. So I don't know. There must be some kind of agreement that mm. Allison. I don't want to say Allison leaving. By the way, Liverpool no. fans, <laughs> <don't say that. laughs> but uh, for him not to go somewhere, yeah. for how good he is, yeah. you know, there must be something behind it. Yeah, I see. I uh, I tell you what, your new manager is a bit of a, a character. I would say. I. Uh, I I interviewed him in the press conference, but then saw him post match as well when uh, uh, Chio Ogbeni was doing his man of the match interview mm. afterwards. Um, gutted he left Luton and went to Ipswich. By the way, but <laughs> anyway, um, and, and he was behind him, like almost laughing with what he was saying. He was asked a question about the manager, and he's like, "Let's see what he says." <laughs> um, and he was he was joking about he's a real character, and he yeah. actually was um, a co head coach in that 2016 Iceland exit. Oh, okay. yes. Right. He's, uh, he's got a bit of an edge to him. I quite, I quite liked him. Right. He's, right. Come across, he's come across well, yeah. I think, in the, certainly in the, in the media. Um, he's saying the right things. Um, he's really brought into the culture of, of, of Ireland, which is very, very important. So, yeah, he's, he's, I, think, I think he'll do well. I think the, once you've got the, the Irish fans behind you from the start... Yeah. And again, go back to the England game. It's always going to be a tough task to, to, to beat England. But if he, his mannerism and the way he speaks to the press, I think he's come across very well. Is that Greece, that Greece game is going to be the key, isn't it? Yeah, really? because they're the t- teams that you'd probably expect that you have a chance against. Mm. So, you know, if you, you want to be at least getting something, something out of that game, you know. Mm. And there was good debuts for Morgan Gibbs-White and Angel Gomez. Yeah, really, really impressive, actually. You know, when I saw him, you know, because obviously we don't get to see him playing in the mm. Premier League, and I was like, wow. And he looks so small. He's tiny. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I was like, <laughs> you know, but um, yeah, he, he, you know, then the commentators were saying that, you know, he's always showing for the ball, and you saw that. You know, mm. he came on and he just he just played. He played the way that he, he always does, um, always wanting the ball. But look, it, I, don't, I don't know how to say it because it, he was so small. It, it, it looked a little bit out of place. It looked like a, <laughs> like a little schoolboy had run on the pitch or something. Jim Proudfoot said that in commentary. <laughs> yeah. sport, actually, he said he looks like he's won a competition. Yeah, <laughs> but, but he's yeah. He, he's also a smart cookie. Yeah, um, you know he, he was he was brilliant in the press conference leading into the game. I'm really pleased that he got his opportunity because he was actually part of the under seventeen England uh, World Cup winning team that yeah. Steve Cooper um, led. And he's watched Phil Foden, Mark Gurhey, yeah. and another player, Jaden Sancho, previously come up into the seniors, and has had to wait for his chance. He's about 24 now, right. and uh, yeah. you know, he's gone out. He's doing really good things at Lille, and, and gets his opportunity under someone who knows him really well in in Lee Carsley. I'd quite like to see him start at, at, yeah. on, on Tuesday night against Finland, but you know, we I would see. imagine there'll be quite a few changes because he left a lot of the players on the mm-hmm. whole game. You know, so that does lead to thinking that you know they might make some more changes, and there'll be a totally different England team out um, yeah, against 
against Finland. But mm. um, and you mentioned Gibbs White as well. I've, I really like him. Yeah. Yeah. I've, yeah. I remember when he was at when he was at Wolves. He started at Wolves, didn't he? he and so. yeah, he was. I really liked him. I think he could be. I think from Nottingham Forest for the last certainly last year. I think he was the one that was. You know, he, he could do something of, of nothing. Player. Yeah, mm. yeah, by far. So, yeah. But the thing is with Lee, obviously I know Lee. I played with him. He will give the young lads a chance, you know. Right. And I think because he's been in the in the system, so mm. he knows all all the players that are coming through as well. So, certainly young young English players will will, will get a chance in the Lee. Give us an insight into what he's actually because obviously I only know him from um, I'd met him before he was appointed um, interim manager. And he comes across really well, mm. a quite authentic, natural person. Just a lovely what's guy. He, what's he like? like? Just, a, just, just a lovely guy. Yeah. Really, really nice guy. Uh, there's no hairs or graces about him. You know, he's just very, very simple. But um, he's obviously, from a lot of people that I know, how good of a coach he is. Mm. He's a very, very good coach. And I think Ireland at one stage were, were looking for him, so, uh, which was a, a shame. Um, he said they had an good. informal coffee and it didn't yeah. go any further. <laughs> uh, whether he said I might be in line for the yeah. England job. But he's a, he's, a, he's a really good guy. Really yeah. good guy. And his co- I was watching him pre-game and obviously Gareth Southgate used to kind of step back and, and, and let Steve Holland take the sessions. But mm. Lee is full hands yeah, on. Yeah. He was oh, actually was he? Yeah. acting as the defender in the, in the shooting drills, in the warm-up. He was the one kind of coming and getting, oh, wow. in, getting in their faces beforehand, which you just don't... You, you, don't, yeah, you, you, you would imagine the manager's got a lot more on his mind than, yeah. than trying yeah, to sort yeah. out that. He, he was out with the balls, like soaking it all in. You know, yeah. what, what a proud moment for him. I mean, when 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 that draw, he was under twenty ones manager still when that draw came mm. out. But wow, for your first for your <laughs> for your first managerial game in charge, yeah. and it's and it's your old your old team. That's yeah. quite incredible. And then there was a lot of fuss made about him, you know, because he said he weren't going to sing the national anthem, and I'm like. So who cares? I'm glad I you know, said that. I, I was going to ask you what you thought of that. I, I think people make too much bigger, bigger deal out of things. Yeah. I mean, he, he played for Ireland. Yeah, yeah it's he okay. Can't, he can't beat around the bush. He played for Ireland, so, and he's you know he's obviously proud of that and played 40 times, I think. So I mean, it's his choice whether he, he he wants to do that. And, or not. and I was like, well, so what? You know, mm-hmm. like Sven did and Capello didn't. You know, yeah. it's like well. But don't judge them on how, how good they sing the national anthem. It's how good you are on the field. No. Someone told me, and actually I need to check this, so if I'm wrong, I'm really sorry. <laughs> but someone told me at the week, Alf Ramsey never, saw, never sung the really? national anthem. Yeah. So, you know, Pretty... he won the World Cup for us. So... Yeah, but then we made so much of it. You know, like the day of the game, all the, all the headlines were about that. And I'm yeah. like, really? Yeah. yeah. But he, he wasn't asked a question. Like, did, some, did the reporter ask him, are you going to sing? It was, uh, it was in a paper's briefing. Um, and he was asked it on a different media outlet as well, uh, broadcast. And he answered it really honestly in that he's not going to. And I don't really, you know, I personally belt out the anthem. Yeah. Um, but I know a lot of people who don't. It doesn't mean they're not patriotic at all. No. Um, it doesn't mean that, I, I just, I find it a really odd thing to to focus on. I understand why the question was asked in the first place. And his answer is news. Yeah, it just yeah. is, and then you're always going to get people that sit either side of the fence. And, you know, I, I personally don't mind either way whether he sings it or, or, or not. But when you, he didn't sing it when he when he played for Ireland, no, I don't think so. so. No, he didn't. Yeah. He said he didn't. No, it's not a big. I don't think. And he never it's not sung a big it. Deal. Yeah, he never sung it for under twenty ones, and no. you know, it's not until he gets like you know, obviously the bigger job and. Oh, when, you, when, when you're at the top, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. when the criticism exactly. starts. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. it's, 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 a, it's almost like that first tackle in a game, isn't it? There you go, that's your first one. Yeah. 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 Are you going to ride I it? Used to, I used to love singing it, and sometimes like I would get like emotional yeah, singing yeah, yeah. it. You do, don't you? Yeah. You know, but it's, it's whatever. It... Well, well, you see, I've seen myself, I was the same. I would, you know, sing it and, and feel feel great about yeah. it. Well, I've, I've played with players that, that don't. No. And yeah. So, I mean, it's their choice, you know. He, he said he wanted to get in the zone. And he's never yeah. he's never sung it, so yeah. you know it's Did not you, as if he was making a, a stance. Yeah. You know, it's no. what he's always done. No, exactly. You know, and he was he was honest. He said, "No, I'm not going to." Fair mm. enough. You know, mm. move on now. Yeah. Did you notice any difference in the play? In the in the first half, yeah, yeah. it felt it, it it felt more progressive. It felt like there was more freedom. I loved mm. Jack Grealish in the number ten role. We just haven't seen him since Villa days mm. playing yeah. that kind of role. I thought that was brilliant. Um, and you could see Harry. Go back to his dropping really deep and, uh, and affecting play a different way yeah. off the ball. Um, Still not a big fan of that. 
Seeing, <sighs> seeing Harry Kane in midfield, I'm like, oh. He, he no, I had, yeah, I'm not not midfield. But no. um, he, he don't mind dropping into the into number 10, you know. But when you can do that, when you've got pace on the wings. Mm. So you've got Gordon and you've yeah. got Saka. So yeah. you can afford to do that because you've got them quick quick wingers. But yeah, you prefer Harry closer to the goal. Yeah. I mean that's I mean he scored what over three hundred goals or something. Yeah. So I mean <laughs> you want him you want him yeah. to be the to be there. But listen, Harry can do it because he's a technically very, very good football player, you mm-hmm. know. But yeah. you want to be careful that you don't keep dropping too too deep. Mm. And you don't need it when you've got what the top players there anyway. Yeah, you know, it's like, like the Grillishes and Yeah, Foldens. You've got better players that that can do that job anyway with England. Do you think it's more that, you know, players know a lot about Harry Kane's game so he just gets marked out of the box a little bit whereas if he drifts he can just kind of well I think you know. we, with, with players and I've done it myself if you don't get a touch of the ball after a certain time you get bored oh, right. mm. and yeah, you want to you want to feel feel your way into the game you know I used to hate when I if, if I didn't touch the ball for the first five ten minutes I, I used to hate it because I didn't feel I was in the game so what, what, so then what would you used to do I used to drop but I didn't I wouldn't have never dropped that far, yeah. but I, I would always try and get on the ball. I'd drift to the left a little bit just to get it because you get more space yeah, yeah. At, at times. But it was only just because, just to get a, a touch touch of the ball mm. and feel like you're in the game because you start thinking too much then and then say, I'm not I'm not playing well or, or whatever. Maybe Har- Harry, Harry's the same. thing is, when you're England, you're going to get a lot of teams that drop off a lot because yeah. they have a lot, of, a lot of possession and they keep the ball. So... Um, it's difficult to make sort of a lot of runs in behind mm. because there's no space. Yeah. Could you play in that Man City team, like Haaland? Because he hardly ever touches oh, it, no. apart from when he doesn't need to. No, he doesn't need to. No, it's like scary, isn't it? Oh, like yeah. the amount of touch, less touch he has. Like I think sometimes like in first half seven touches or something. I mean, yeah. But then, but then he scores two goals. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know, but that that just shows like a different a different way of being a striker mm. as yeah. well. You know, because. He's not involved, you know, and he he'll, he makes runs, he makes another run, mm. he makes another run. Nothing happens, but then all of a sudden, when he's needed, he's on it. Well, he's playing with a look at the Man City players, you know. Yeah. He's playing with top top players. That yeah. he, he doesn't really need to get involved in the game because he knows eventually he, he's going to get a chance. Yeah. So if you have to have the patience to to do that, which he certainly has. For me, he just looks like a player that just wants to score goals. He's not interested in, in coming that, to Lincoln yeah. or because mm. he said when you got people like Foden there. Silver, you don't need to. Yeah, yeah. Can you see the difference in since you retired in the in in, in the game and in the striker's role? Uh, yes, yes and no. Uh, I wouldn't say there's a there's a massive difference. Um, when I was playing, we lucky enough to the top top strikers. Now you don't really see yeah. too many. Now it's like mm. you don't see two strikers. Up top no. anymore. It's no. always it's always one. It's never four four two, is it? No, no. <laughs> so when I played me me and Berbatov together, like you know, we were so good. Oh, to, we were so good team. together. But like, I mean, right. this, this, <laughs> <laughs> the other side of London. Yeah, <laughs> so this, this day and age, this day and age. I mean, imagine me and Berbatov in the team now, in the same team. Like one would only have to play, like you yeah. know. So it's a, it's definitely going out. The two strikers is going out, and it's it's coming more of a four three three now, isn't yeah. it? You're kind of you're two wingers are almost like strikers mm. as, as, as well. So, mm. but not natural number ten striker or, or number nine. And also, there's a lot. Of, there's not many number nines and anymore. No. Like proper number nines. Like I think Haaland, I would say, yeah, he, he's up there. But Lewandowski, maybe. But mm. there's not really. There's not no. many. No, and you know they've been like crying out at Arsenal like for a number nine. Mm. You know, but what is what is like. The number nine. When you look at it, it's like it's someone like Harlan. That's mm. what you class as a like a, a, a normal number nine. Yeah. You Shearer, know, Shearer, Shearer yeah. like Les Ferdinand. And yeah. But I even spoke to Harry Kane about that the other day um, because Lee Carsley played Anthony Gordon as a false nine in the European Championship under twenty ones that they mm. went on and won last year. And Harry said, "I'm happy to play false nine. I quite like that role himself." Really? So he, even he sees like the shift. Yeah. And that he might have to adapt his game a little bit, which I thought was quite interesting. Do you think yeah. Harry wants to be a secret midfielder, like our oh, number ten, like well, dropping off? Think about it. Look, Wayne Rooney did it later on in his yeah, career. He's, he's getting a bit older. Maybe he is kind of thinking longevity and mm. I don't know. yeah, yeah. I don't know. Stick to being a striker I know. <laughs> yeah, and scoring goals. He's so good at it as well. You know, and his, his finishes that he's got. You know, there's not yeah. one that he's like really well known for. 
you know, like Thierry would be like, he'd, yeah. he'd open his body up and always do that one. You know, and mm -hmm. the goalie sometimes would read it and still wouldn't be able to save it. But, mm. with, with, but with Harry, he's got all the different finishes. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, he's, he's, I mean, his left foot is nearly as, as, as strong as his, as his right foot. Mm. But when Harry, Harry was a, uh, a kid at Tottenham, he used to always sit on the, on the hill and watch myself, Jermaine Defoe, Berbatov do do finishing drills like you know, and uh, and then when he when he started training with us, then you could see him afterwards doing the same, you know, left mm -hmm. foot, right foot finishes, yeah, and you could just see the progression of him getting better and better, and he's he's an, you know, I would say he's a natural natural finisher, but he had to work at it, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. but he he did that by dropping down the leagues and biding his time and realizing, you know, there are some players who literally shoot up the academy straight in at mm. the first team and. You know, maybe fade a little bit because they think they've made it already. Harry's had to work for everything that he's got, and like you say, sitting on the hill watching yeah. you guys. He was determined. That. He was determined kid. Like you know, mm. you could mm. see you could see that from the from the, the get go. But as you said, there's a perfect example for any young kids. You know, if you go out on loan, you don't get your game, and you know, just keep going, mm. yeah. keep fighting because if you, eventually you'll get you'll get an opportunity somewhere. Because there's always a manager. If one manager doesn't like you. There's always an ex-manager ready to come to give an opportunity, you know. Yeah. Mm. Hundred caps if he if he plays for Finland Tuesday oh, yeah, night. Yeah, it is, isn't it? It'll be, That'll which be, is incredible. Yeah, he's, he's got to play that, you know, because yeah. it's at Wembley. At Wembley. It's going to be a special yeah. occasion. That you know, hundred hundred of them. He's yeah, well done, Harry. <laughs> Seventy-five, mate. Just, that's, pre that's pretty all right. <laughs> you know, we're talking about 100 now. <laughs> I'm not in that club. Stay in your lane. I know, but I'm still second highest cap goalkeeper along with Joe Hart. Oh, Jordan, he? take your time, mate. <laughs> Harry's only got 47 games to catch me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, as we said, the most capped Irish player. That's impressive. <laughs> Right, Robbie, it's the North London Derby this weekend. Yes. Um, and I thought we'd have a little bit of fun and we're going to do our combined North London 11. Oh, this will be interesting. Right. Well, interesting for me, I'm the judge. <laughs> <laughs> right, number one. <clears throat> Paul Robinson. <laughs> Fake. <Wait> no. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'm going to write it on here. Okay. Right, me. Oh, yeah. Can I have me? No, I'm putting you in there, yeah. Good. And then we'll you go... You just put yourself in? Yeah. <laughs> Quite right. It's hostile Tottenham. <laughs> it toss fell. <laughs> Where are we going? Right back? Yeah. Oh. So, uh, my... I, I know you had, the, you had the famous four. Yeah, uh, the back four. Uh, Dixon, is... Bold, Adams. Gion yeah, but then you go, Burn. like, for me, I think Stephen Carr could be there as well. So okay. you yeah. Stephen Carr or Lee Dixon? He, he was. See, you played with Lee. I played with with, with Stephen, but yeah. Uh, uh, just because the trophies that you've won, you probably have to put Lee Dick in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that just means it's an Arsenal eleven. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, do it. So Dico, Dico at right back. You didn't like that. <laughs> well, I've set you already, yeah. Robbie. <laughs> but centre half is going to be interesting. Yeah. Because obviously. Like I'll say Tony Adams straight away. Yeah. And are we, are Ledley we, King. And Ledley King. Yeah. Yeah. So like when we talked, we were like talking about it a little bit before, and and I was like, oh yeah. And you said you said to me that you didn't know what footed he was because he no. was that good with wow. each. Wow. Yeah, because he, I think he was right footed, but he always played on the left on the left yeah. side. And also with Ledley, he never trained. He only he trained on a Friday because his knees, he was struggling with his knees, but. And then he'd just come Saturday and he'd be like a, a Rolls Royce. Yeah. If he didn't have his injuries, I think he would have been uh, pushing people like Rio Ferdinand to, uh, for the England mm. England team. He was he was that good. And like, right. you know, I think Tony Adams so has Tony... To, I think Tony has to be in there. Yeah. I, I yeah. think yeah, so one, of the, one of the great defenders. Ledley and Adams. Adams and King. Left back. <laughs> I think there's a, I just dropped Ashley Cole in there. Yeah, because you know, and because I I get asked to do like an Arsenal back, uh, Arsenal eleven, and I always put like the old back four. Yeah, you know, and Nigel Winterburn, but Ashley. No, was Ashley special. was tough. I played with Ashley towards the end of my career in in LA, LA yeah. Galaxy. Yeah, I mean, for for me, I would have to say, as a left back goes, I think probably the best mm. in 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 England. At, mm. And at the time, 
almost like you could say he was the best in the world. Mm. He, he was that good. He yeah. was so fast, it was mm. frightening. There was not much between him and Roberto Carlos for yeah. me. He, he was that good, yeah. Ashley. And I, I mean, you heard even Ronaldo saying that when he used to play against him, you know, he used mm. to hate playing against him. Yeah. So I, I definitely agree right with you. Right then, Paul's in there. consensus on this That's one. That's a good back four. <clears throat> it's not a good start, is it, for Tottenham? <laughs> to <be honest. laughs> um, <laughs> oh, wow. I think he might carry on. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're going to go with our midfield pairing, central midfield pairing. The only oh. thing is, right, Gaza, he played in the Premier League, didn't he? Yeah, but did he, did he did he play for Tottenham no, in the Premier League? No. no, I think he was was at Everton. Yeah, I mean he, he would. Does that count? No, no, no. Oh, fate. Right. No, sorry, Gaza. <laughs> I mean, on, he would be there, wouldn't he? Really? He'd been on the show and he just got bombed. <laughs> 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 well, you put ask me, Vieira. Vieira. Yeah. yeah, I mean, there's no question there. I don't know how you spell it, but anyway, I should do. I've seen back, <laughs> I've seen back of his shirt that many times. I can't even spell it. <laughs> um, who else? Oh, midfielders. Can't think. So we had Perez. We had Perez. We had Manu Petit. Mm -hmm. But you, Gareth. I'm trying to think of who I played with. <laughs> See, it's oh. going to get really interesting when we go up front as well. Well, it depends what formation. What formation yeah. yeah. So what should we do? Do we do... Do we do four one and then have a, like a load of strikers? <laughs> <laughs> Some fantasy team. Is. Yeah, exactly. Oh. You know, because like fatigue, and then you've got to think. Oh, so Luca Modric. Oh, Luca. Oh. <laughs> yeah. so I'll that's uh, that's an, huh? I'll take the no, Luca, Luca, Luca. Yeah. Dembele over it. Modric. No. See, there you go. No. That's a no. Yeah. That's a no yeah. brainer. There you go. Good. Yeah, definitely Luca Modric. <laughs> I'm glad you said that. I forgot about yeah. Luca. How could you forget about Luca? Because he's know. been around Left for side. so long. So the choice yes. is, I reckon, Perez. Over who? Gareth Bale. Gareth Bale. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're the judge, mate. Oh, no. Oh. Well, I know my, who I would say, obviously. Oh, come on. Would be Gareth. Well, yeah, I, th I, th I, think you've, I think you've got to go. I'm sorry. No. I'm, I'm overruling you. It's Gareth Bale. Yeah. He was so yeah. good as well, Perez, wasn't he? And then he chucked Mark Overmars on that left side as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with Robbie on this would one. You take, going... Would you take Overmars over Perez? No. No? No, I'd go with Robert. Robert, yeah. was, Robert was special, but mm. I'd go with Gareth Bale because he was... You know, he, he for, went for on. What, for, yeah. for, for what what he did. Yeah, what yeah. he did in, with his career as well, and also just just the way that he played. You know, I just yeah, I'll 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 go with that. Bale, right side. Like... Oh, can't think. So this is a very heavy Spurs midfield so far. Mm. Um. I mean, right look, side, I'm thinking obviously like people like Ray Parler, Freddie Lundberg. R no, Rocky wasn't Premier League. Um, who else we're top. missing? Something really obvious. I'm not on camera right now. I don't think a Spurs player would get into that mix of. No. There. Can you put Bakaya oh, no. Saka in there? Yeah, because. Damn, great shout. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Instead of we're like, see, we're, we're going older. We, I know. We're, yeah. We're, 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 we keep forget, school, we keep forgetting. We keep forgetting about the, the young players. Yeah. Yeah. But to be fair. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. No. Exactly. You're right. Yeah, no, I think, yeah. Um Saka Depo gets in as right sided. Oh, it's simple now, isn't it? Right. I became uh, Berbatov. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, oh, my God. I'm going to get so much stick nah, nah, this. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> because there's two. Nah. There's two. There's two that you go for straight away. But then that means... So, we, you know, I'm thinking of, obviously, Thierry Henry. Bergkamp. Harry, yeah, but Harry Kane. Harry Kane. Oh, my goodness me. And then I'm leaving Wrighty out. Yeah. <sighs> I'll never hear the end of it. Yeah, Teddy Sheringham. <laughs> Teddy. Oh, my God. Robbie Keane. Uh, Robbie Keane, Berbatov, <laughs> Jermaine Defoe. Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna we're gonna have to let's cut it down to four, two Arsenal, two Spurs, and then reduce it that way. Mm. And I think because right. because it is a combined, 
I'm going to say yeah. you've got to have one Arsenal, one Spurs. And then it, okay, right. then well, it's, it's, it's Henri and Harry Kane. Yeah, I think we'll agree with you that. Take yourself out. Yeah, yeah. I probably. He's got. His, I mean, most goals for the for the club. It's very. Very See, I'm not, I'm, I'm not like David, you know, I don't oh, control no, it. I just don't throw oh, my, my, my name even, in, you know. You didn't even, I need to show you <laughs> to the camera. <laughs> not even, even, even David, right me. Semen, <laughs> like me. <laughs> you can't spell it, that's why. Hey, yeah. <laughs> As in say hello, what you're all about. <laughs> yeah, so that that's... a pretty tidy team. That's a strong, that's a strong. Yeah. Even like Bergkamp missing out as well. No. I know. I know. I love Bergkamp. Right, Eve. What a player Bergkamp was. But, yeah, to you, because like, I always say to Arsenal fans, like, when we get them on the podcast and everything, they're like, you've got one choice, Henri or Bergkamp. And it's really split down the middle. You know, and what you normally get is, like, the older generation can go with Dennis mm. and the newer generation can go with Thierry. Mm. And I say, well, I, and I choose Thierry because I knew I, I could give him the ball there and he would go the whole length yeah, yeah. and score. You know, whereas Dennis was Dennis all... Was clever, wasn't he? Just, you know, like it's different. His IQ in football is just yeah. you know, through the roof. Yeah. I, he's a top, top player. Right. I used to kind of watch watch Dennis and, 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 and model myself a tiny bit off him because he, he could go in the little pockets. He used to pick yeah. up great little positions in, in the pockets. And, and also, I learned off, it was Teddy. Yeah. I played a year, yeah. with, two years with Teddy. And what he taught me on the field, he, he was the same as well, just intelligent football player. Yeah. But that's yeah. a strong team. That's a good team, that, isn't it? Yeah, I'm glad we remembered about Modric. <laughs> can't believe we are can't believe Don't, we did. No. Take, take that <laughs> out. <laughs> Sorry, Luca. Seaman says with David Seaman, brought to you by Betway.